this is the final result that I got here and these are all the layers that I that I used to make this and what I will do is uh, deactivate everything except uh, the stock image so we'll start uh, from the bottom this is the stock image that I used um, I got it from depositphotos.com uh, I used to get to uh, buy some uh, images from there from time to time um, this was like I think it costs a credit or something like that uh, a credit is uh, one dollar uh, you can get high resolution images for like one or two dollars and if you don't want to get the image from there you can uh, search on DeviantArt uh, a while ago I published a article um, about stock images uh, I'll put the link to that article too if you want to uh, to visit some of the uh, users that I mentioned on that uh, article maybe you can find uh, well maybe no I'm sure that you will find something uh, similar to this and so let's start uh, as I said this is the stock image that I used and the first thing that I did uh, when I started this um, I wanted to start adding the first uh, light effect uh, I think that's the first thing that I do on um, all uh, whenever I do this kind of uh, artworks, so I made a group uh, which I call Dodge Lights because that's the blend mode that I use for this uh, for this uh, lights. As you can see, the blend mode here says Dodge uh, Color Dodge. And what I do when I make this kind of uh, lights is get a really uh, really big brush. Uh, you can see that I I use this. Uh, on the name to include the diameter of the, of the brush so that I know uh, what kind of brush I used in this case it's 1500 pixels and this is the color so I get a really big uh, soft brush like this and choose my colors and you can see the values here of the colors right here and let's change this to normal so that you can see it uh, the, the, the color dodge works uh, really well with uh, dark colors like this if you get a really bright color, something like this, and you paint, uh, you'll see that it, you kind of burn the image, so it's not going to work really well. So with color dodge, use dark colors like this. It doesn't matter if they don't look uh, too bright here, because when you paint them, you can see how bright they look. So after I painted this uh, effect, so you can see I made, I added one here on uh, on top of the hair, uh, right here on their feet. And I use the same color as the shoes. Uh, you can you can use uh, any color you like. And then I started adding some um, some fractal images. Uh, there are the links to these fractal images are uh, also on the on the article on the tutorial. And uh, you can see I use screen the screen blend mode for this. And that's because they have a uh, pure black uh, background and you can uh, you can choose screen and everything that is black will go uh, transparent uh, when you choose the screen blend mode uh, it kind of desaturates the image so most of most of the times I increase the saturation and also the the contrast using levels so if that's the case make sure you do that for example in this one uh, it's a bit uh, washed out so to say so what I do is just get the hue saturation and bump the saturation of it. You can also um, change the hue. Uh, you can get some really nice uh, variations of the colors as you can see. And then with levels what you do is uh, increase the contrast of the image if you want to. Uh, if you want to have less, um, less of the colors, you increase the, the blacks or the shadows. In this case, I'll leave it uh, as it is. So as you that with the fractals, I have uh, the base here. I just wanted to make some kind of a, I don't know, as you can see here, soul light I made. I was thinking about something like uh, the soul gaining out of the girl or something like that. I don't know what I was thinking about. But anyway, uh, I added more lights here. Uh, again, color dodge is the color that I used and two uh, colors. And then more lights here on the hand, again with dodge light, and the color value is here. And moving on, I just um, added even more lights here on the on the bottom part. Uh, and this 
I added this using a really uh, really big brush uh, that's because I have a really high resolution image but uh, you know just adjust your brush and you can see the colors here this is a normal blend mode and I use a kind of a greenish color uh, and then this um, these are colors here and again this is color dodge and I added this because I wanted to um, enhance the light and the light effects here on the bottom part and also see this um, fractals here uh, again the links uh, to this uh, stock images uh, I got them from from DeviantArt and you can download them for free and then I started making that a um, this uh, this kind of effect here and this is how I made it uh, let me deactivate everything here so what I did uh, I downloaded um, a 3D render and also the links are on the tutorial and I pasted it um, over the image and then I made uh, this mask, it's not necessary to make this mask and I destroyed it uh, even more <laughs> and then I made a copy of this uh, stock image and I placed it above uh, this above this uh, 3D render and I made it as a clipping mask uh, as you can see and I rotate it uh, slightly and um, create clipping mask and that way you will only see the uh, the girdle over that uh, that 3d render and you can move it uh, you can move the the stock images uh, as you want but make sure you don't leave it as it is because otherwise it's not well actually it looks good anyway you can move it uh, around however however you want uh, but some uh, some parts of the image look better than others. Oh, let's leave it like this. And then I added another light on top of this. Uh, again, color dodge uh, works uh, really well here. And I use the same color as the color that are here, but you can use any color. And then I just uh, duplicated that. Now uh, you can see shatter copy and. I made I the only thing I did here is um change the the mask and I think it's also another 3D render well no it's the same it's the same 3D render but um I used um another mask to destroy it but as I said you it's not it's up to you if you want if you don't want to make this mask uh it will still look uh, good anyway and then the same uh, copy of the stock image and uh, placed it on top of it as a clipping mask and the same color. Let me see if I can change the color uh, if it looks better with hue saturation. Oh, well, not really. Let's leave it like that to this blue color. Anyways, I'm not gonna save this, but. And then from the same website where I downloaded this uh, 3D render, I also found. Uh, this uh, kind of a liquid uh, stock image and I don't know if this is a 3D render or, or what is it or what is it but I liked it and I placed it here on top of this I think it looks nice anyway I don't know and then I made this a uh, this kind of a uh, soft uh, soft lighting or soft painting and this is how I made this. Uh, I got the pen tool, set this to path, and traced uh, some paths along like this. I'll make it uh, quick so that you can see it. Close the path, then right click and make selection. Radius to zero and click OK. And when I got this selection, I got the brush tool, and with the big soft brush and the color white. I just uh, painted, let me make a new layer and deactivate that one. I'm just painting along and you can see that uh, you get that soft edge and where the selection ends uh, you get that uh, hard edge and I will deselect now so that you can see it. 
so you can see I have the same effect so this is what I made now and this is the original so it's kinda of the same thing and then I just duplicated that and flipped it and changed the blend mode of both uh, well actually this one is still to normal because I just changed it uh, changed the blend mode to overlay or I think soft light also looks uh, good but I like overlay so this is how I made those uh, uh, this kind of uh, shape here organic shadows uh, are made the same way as the organic selection layer uh, using the pen tool, the selection I'm painting with the brush but what I did I just uh, added some drop shadow maybe it's even too strong uh, to reduce the opacity a bit so as you can see that uh, shadow there so that's how I made that and then more fractals um, this is just a simple fractal that I don't know, it's not even visible not really not really in a good place there I made this um, scattered uh, squares uh, with the brush tool so I got the brush tool and selected the, the square presets uh, square brushes and I chose I chose the uh, the biggest one but since my my image is very high resolution I had to increase the size so I'm not really worried about the edges and then the settings for the brush the first thing I did uh, was select brush tip shape and increase the spacing and then activated uh, scattering and I don't remember if I had both sides but anyway set count to one and increase the scatter to whatever uh, you like and you can see that we have these uh, brushes then <coughs> I made a few lines here just, they are really simple to do just grab the pen tool select the paths and draw a path with the with this tool and then right click and choose stroke path make sure you select uh, a small brush uh, with hardness at 100% and simulate pressure on just click OK and you stroke that path with white and it's really simple I did that um, a couple of times and I got this uh, swirly lines here and then just to finish it off I used this, the butterfly stock and I added a few butterflies um, here, uh, let me see where they are. Actually, there are a bunch of them across the image, and I used the hue saturation adjustment to change the color of them. And you can see that I added uh, outer glow uh, with the blend mode color dodge and increased uh, the size. And I don't know which one is this one that I'm working on right now. Let me select. So you can see that they have outer glow as well uh, with a really big size. And that's why they have that light on the background there. So I added a few butterflies. And then this, uh, which, and then I have this group called fading vectors. Uh, this is really easy to do as well uh, with the poly with the with the lasso tool with the polygonal lasso tool I'll just create a new layer and hold down the shift key to create 45 degree angle selection like this create a few lines like so and for now let's say like that and then you fill that with with white so background color in this case and once you have this uh, you, you simply go to filter and apply some motion blur to this at 45 degree angle click OK and of course increase the size to whatever you want you can, you can apply this uh, 
twice if you want more fading effect. So motion blur again. And then simply change the mode to soft light or overlay. And you get this uh, this kind of effect that you can see here. So that's how I made this uh, artwork. I hope I gave you at least some ideas and I if you got stuck somewhere just uh, post a comment uh, there on my website and I'll try to help you. So see you next time.